Hi everyone and welcome to codingzest.com Guys in this Google Maps tutorial I will show you how you can implement different types of Google Maps. So if I show you we have these uh, five types of maps. So the first one is none and the second one is normal map and the th third one is satellite, hybrid and terrain map. In this video I will show you how you can implement all these. Okay. So this code is from uh, our previous video and you can access my free playlist of Google Maps from my channel. So if you don't know how to implement Google Map or how to create API key for Google Maps so you can access the playlist from my channel. Okay. So first of all if I show you uh, my application running uh, we will add a menu here and from that menu we will select the type and we will change it. The, we will change the Google Map type accordingly. So first of all we need to create a menu here. So simply click on this uh, resource res and uh, resource file and select the menu and I will name it uh, menu main you can name it anything you want okay and uh, click OK I will cancel it and here I need to create the item so I will simply type item and ID ID will be map none okay and the title of this item will be none okay i will close it and i will simply copy it and i will paste it four more times okay so this one will be the map normal and i will change the title to normal normal and this one will be satellite satellite and I will also change the ID to satellite okay and this one will be hybrid hybrid and I will also change this to hybrid okay and the last one will be terrain terrain or I don't know how to pronounce it terrain and uh, okay so our menu is ready and now we need to override a method for this uh, for in inflating this menu so simply type on create option menus sorry options menu not menus and we will remove this and simply type get many menu inflator dot inflate and pass the menu id or dot menu dot main menu main and pass the menu here okay not the main menu and we will return to from here okay and now to access or to add checks on the id so simply override another method on option item selected options item selected so from here we can select the id so i will add the id to a variable and item dot get item id so this get item id will return this item id okay and i will show you in a while so i will just simply to add a check here if id double equal to all dot id map none so here we will set the map type to none okay and uh, to set the map type as you can see here uh, we we are already created the map object here google map class object so we can access it here and it is my map dot set map type and uh, here for the google map dot map type to none okay and what i will do here to save some time i will just simply copy it and i will paste it four times three four five okay so the second one will be the normal one map normal and we will also change this type to normal so simply type n o r and you will get the map type normal and the third one is i think uh, let me check it is a satellite map so what we will do we will change this to satellite satellite and we will also change this type to satellite satellite and this is the fourth one is hybrid so hybrid if the id is equal to hybrid so id equal mean that if user select the hybrid from the menu hybrid type so we will set the map type to hybrid and the last one is terrain 
table and uh, simply type t e or table okay so that's it guys and now we will run our application okay guys so if i zoom it in okay sorry i disabled the zoom for from double click so i will zoom it from this plus button okay now if i select the type none so it will select the none type okay so no map here and if i select the normal type so as you can see this is the normal map and you can also add a normal map here with all these name and i think i misspelled the satellite but don't worry okay uh, let me show you the satellite map so if i click satellite so it will show us the satellite map as you can see here okay if i zoom in so this is satellite map and if i select the hybrid map so it will change this to hybrid in the hybrid map it also shows the names okay and uh, the last one is terrain map so as you can see here this is a terrain map so that's how you can implement the different types of google maps in your android application so that's it for this video guys and if you like this video please share this video with your friends and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel and the bell notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming videos and if you if you have any question about google maps tutorial or you want to access the playlist so uh, you can ask me question in the comment section and you can access the playlist from my channel